birds of prey, lions, sharks, the Reading Public Museum goes wild. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Mike Anderson of the Reading Public Museum. Thanks so much for being with us. Hi, Jill. Thank you. You're really appealing to families with your upcoming exhibits. You're building on the success that you had with your summer exhibit, Dinosaurs. Let's talk a little bit about what's happening for the fall. There well, are really some fun things going on. Uh, really. We, we decided that because of the momentum we had building with the interest in the animal kingdom to theme Actually, four exhibitions that we have coming up from uh, the end of September through the beginning of next year, 2013 already. Wow. Uh, and uh, they're all animal themed, and uh, they're called Animal Secrets, Predators, Animals in Art, and Animals in Glass. Uh, the first two are very fa family friendly, interactive type things. Bring the kids and uh, learn all about animals from uh, different points of view. So yeah, we're, and even the programming we built around it, the uh, lectures and concerts and things too. So we're going to have fun with this. Let's get into some of the specifics. Uh, animal secrets, you're exploring animals from an animal's point of view. We are. It's mostly forest animals. And uh, this is uh, based uh, for younger kids, I would say ages three to eight. But it's always a great example where you can bring the whole family in and get involved. A lot of hands-on activities. Uh, you can see forest creatures are going to be thematically arranged for the meadow, the cave, the, uh, the stream, and the, and, uh, and the forest. And uh, lots of things for kids to do with their families uh, or with friends. And uh, that's, that's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to be up on our second floor gallery, our main uh, temporary exhibition. Now, beyond that, predators, this is a little more intense when we're talking about the animal world. It is, and it's, a, again, a hands-on exhibit. Where we're talking about lions and tigers and bears and sharks and uh, whales and uh, a lot of, lot of up-close uh, looks at skulls and the teeth and, and, and why, why they're considered predators. You can see uh, uh, an example of what l life looks like in the ocean for uh, a shark, you know, the ways to visualize things that you might not have before and to maybe become less scared of it and a little bit more informed as to why environmentally they're very important to us. Beyond predators, uh, you also have works on paper, animals, and art. These are things from the museum's permanent collection. That's correct. We have over 14,000 works of paper in storage that we bring out on various, various times and for various reasons. Here we pulled out things that were related to the animal kingdom and they're in our works in paper gallery. Uh, some of them are, are, are just amazing. Uh, the one that you're looking at now is a uh, print from like 1664. We have etchings and uh, lithographs and, uh, and just all kinds of interesting things. You're also featuring a local glass artist uh, in Animals in Glass. Right, Animals in Glass by Taylor Backey's studio. Uh, uh, we have Will Dexter is a famous artist from the Boyertown area that does all kinds of great stuff in glass. So he, he's bringing uh, examples of uh, a lot of sea creatures and a couple of birds and they're the most spe spectacular looking things you, you, you'd ever want to see. And I think uh, you know, that will appear to appeal to the adults, but you never know. You know, kids are just going to take a look and you never know what they can take away from all the various experiences we have there. And you mentioned a wide variety of related programming, concerts, lectures as well throughout the fall and into the winter months. And sure. I want to quickly ask you about your new planetarium show as well. The new planetarium show will open this fall. It's called Dynamic Earth. And whereas it's not talking about animals per se, it's really uh, talking about nature and the environment. So it fits right in with everything else. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. We've been talking with Mike Anderson of the Reading Public Museum. I'm Jill Horner.